Shout out to Aaron Black. Alex with a five says, from ISOM 1 and now uh, Private Salvage, uh, you seem to enjoy detective stories, which is awesome. Well, Batman is my favorite character uh, as an adult. Uh, what draws you to those type of stories? Oh, just answer that. Just answer that. But, but I like detective stuff. Um, look, very much in my writing style, which I understand that not everybody's a fan of. Um, and that's really our kind of approach with the with the company in general. We're trying. Look, it's impossible to replicate how people would consume comic books back in the gap. Impossible. We, we can't possibly do it because the Internet is so accessible uh, to so many people. Therefore, the spread of information is quick. So you've kind of um, conditioned uh, a culture full of people that want everything and you know? things uh are, people are able to get things delivered to them very very quickly but my writing style i i i, I like to drop nuggets for sure and i don't the, the point is not to hold the reader's hand i'm not i don't build this universe with it in mind that hey you're just gonna read this and go move on to the next property no it's like look we're writing this shit for people that want to get invested in our universe right so um i i, I the, the, the detective style stories allow me to really justify that in approach. So when I'm writing a story like for salvage, you're going to really in, in, enjoy it. It, it, it. Despite it, he, him being a private investigator, we, it, we're very much like in the beginning, right? It's only 13 pages. Uh, so there's a lot that I needed to happen during that period of time. You're going to enjoy it, but man, I hope y'all like it. Uh, this is going to be, this is really a market test. So as the audience gets that book, they order that book and get it. We will see how they respond because I've been kicking around so many ideas. This is what I feel like if I did get it, get, give it a shot in writing like something that's longer form or writing uh, a, a massive one shot for salvage. Man, I have so fucking much fun with the detective stuff in that. Um, but, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be largely determined by the audience for sure. Bruce with a 10 says it's funny. When uh, haters are critical of the Riververse art, Kanan gets hired to direct the art. Then haters complain that the art's too... <laughs> That's a good point, right? It's like, it, it, it's the same thing with Horseman, right? Eric, because, you know, some people operate from, oh, uh, because he's he's a newbie and he's seeing all this success, he's under, he's undeserving. Nobody should be getting the success that he has. Instead, it should be given to other people that have been around the block because Eric July didn't pay his dues. And they operate from this point that like they think i'm incompetent right they think i don't know anything they think i'm stupid fine whatever and so it's like hey he should be doing this but when i do that thing anyway even though it's a naturally occurring thing it's not under the advice of anybody nobody like i didn't he didn't he didn't brought in as an art director because someone advised me to it to do it outside of maybe the people that are here internally because we knew that was a that was a place that we needed to fill within our company but like with horsemen a project that is 100% I had nothing to do with other than building the world that Horseman's in. That was a Chuck Dixon and Joe Bennett, two longtime industry veterans that they say I'm supposed to be leaning on and I let them run free and some of them were still complaining about it. It's almost as if it's just doesn't matter what we do. But to your point, that's what happened with Deborah. Kanan gets brought in, elevates her like no other. And now you have people that are uh, saying that. And I love that she she posted some pencils like she's showing everybody like, no, nah, that's me. And I love it. Uh, and you had people like trying to make up a conspiracy that like her, like I guess Joe Bennett, which it, he isn't even a fucking isn't even a fucking inker. Right. Was uh, the one that is the uh, I guess drew the art or Kanan drew the drew the art that you guys saw. And it's like, no, that's uh, they had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Everything that you've seen as far as uh, the pencils are concerned, that's all. That's all Deborah. She did all of that. But, yeah, to your point, Bruce, she got too good, apparently.